Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup, and today I am introducing you to the Marvel Legends Black Symbiote Spider Man. Yes, I have a stand now, so I'm feeling pretty impressed with myself. That is a NECA stand from uh, Toys R Us. Looks pretty sweet. Yes, it does, even though it's not the review. Sorry. And we are showcasing the Spider Man in a nice little pose. That's pretty sweet, right? Yeah, so just gonna try to play around with this for a little bit. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really liking this little stand because it just kind of allows for some angles I've never been able to do before. So, trying to increase these videos' values and bring some action and better, you know value for your time because your time is valuable so I appreciate you watching my videos because I have fun with this so let's get back to the figure itself this is the black suit spider-man um, very cool figure let's pop off the head and you're probably wondering why I'm popping off the head right now uh, and it's because I want to try putting the Peter Parker head on and see what you guys think Uh-oh. Well, I gotta be careful with that before I break the dang thing. Well, that's not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Let's just get him down from the stand. That, let's just do that. Uh, okay. And I do most of my videos with one take. Um, like the um, reviewer, Hard Shell Heroes Chris. One take, one shot, if you can. Um, so that's how that looks. That actually looks really good. This is the Spider-Man helmet head from the Toys R Us exclusive uh, with the Mary Jane. And it looks good in a black suit, man. I might have to buy another one of these and kind of customize like a symbiote, you know, strain come around. Um, but yeah, this, this figure is very nice. Um, I love this Spider-Man suit more than any other standard ones for Peter Parker. Because it just looks that good. Um... I don't like this figure um, with that said because it has some very troubling problems which you can see me trying to get this arm down for whatever reason the black suited spider-man has very varying degrees of QC issues um, when it came to this figure this is actually my third one um, the other two had to go back because I could not get the arms to go down. So you can see where it's supposed to just go down, but it makes a shoulder kind of really come out. So it's very hard to kind of get that going the right way. But alas, I, I still got it. And there's Spider-Man looking kind of weird. I like this pose right here. Um, this is my favorite one. Making him because he looks so angry. That's why. I, this is why I really like this figure. Even though the figure has QC issues, it still looks great. But man, these poses. I mean, does that not look angry? And then you look him up like that. You know, with this. Oh yeah, he looks really angry right there. He looks pissed. So um, all in all, this is a great figure um, as far as aesthetics. But um, it does kind of. Be, it's a little hindered with the uh, items it comes with. It only comes with wall crawling hands. Um, and it does not come with the web shooting hands for obvious reasons. If you don't know, the webs come out of the suit up here. So Symbiote Spider-Man does not need to have web shooters because the suit makes the webbing. So a little fun fact there. In the background, I have the Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. I just did that just so you can see this costume and see how great they did a, a, of a job of it. Some people like the shading. I don't think this figure needs shading. I like it black just like that. So, what we're gonna do next, we're going to compare him with the Toys R Us exclusive Spider-Man, the newest one that came out. And you can see there's the same figure, it's just different colors, nothing, no difference there. Um, the last thing that makes this one different from some of the Spider-Mans is the butterfly joints. Again, I do like the butterfly joints, but this one has problems because of the butterfly joints, but 
I think all of the Spider-Man should have butterfly joints because it just makes him so much more aggressive. Um, look at that. Now, we must do the comparison with our current champion, whose days are numbered. It might be today. We have the Mary Jane. Again, I always do a close-up on the face with this Mary Jane so you can just remember how good it looks. Is she better than this Spider-Man? Yes, she is. Uh, you probably knew that already coming on because, again, this is the same Spider-Man as this one over here. It's just different colors. So there's really no way this Spider-Man figure can beat her out, in my opinion. Um, so she's still the champion. Correct, Mary Jane. Um, but do I recommend this figure? Yes. This figure comes in. There, there are two of these per case, so it should not be too hard to find this guy. Um, but you w may have to go through several of these just to get one without a lot of problems with the paint apps. Um, mine's pretty good, but there, you can see there's some imperfections there. And I went through a lot that had much worse. So keep that in mind. Um, but the last part is just making sure that none of them break. Because the first one had the worst problem. As soon as I moved the arm down, it broke. The second one was very close to breaking. So this is the best one I got out of three. Um, this is much longer than I normally do. I appreciate you again for taking the time to watch this video. If you like it, please give me a like and a comment. Give me a like. Um, and if you have any comments, please, I love watching them and seeing them. Please leave me a comment in the comment section. Until next time, peace. Thanks for watching.